All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trip speed. Control next. Go on one, on one. Ready? All right. What is up, guys? It is Pickum from Huddle GG with another current gen Madden tip video for you guys. In today's video, what I'm going to be going over is a quick blitz that I like to use if my opponent comes out in any compression sets on offense. So what do I mean by compression sets? Um, any formation on offense really that has the receivers, whether it's on both sides or one side, closer to the offensive line of offensive line. Okay, so obviously in your bunch, you have those three receivers bunched right next to the offensive line. You're strong close. You have both receivers uh, pinched in closer to the offensive line. So again, anything where they're more of a, in a compressed set, uh, this blitz is going to be really good for. If they're in more of a spread set, like a spread, a doubles, a trips tight end, anything like that, I would shy away from this setup. I just don't like the alignment as much, um, and it's harder to cover the field behind you uh, when doing this. So the formation that we're going to be in is big nickel over G, and personnel-wise, there's only really three things we want to make sure of, okay? So first of all, and most important, is this nickel or slot corner here. We want to make sure we have our fastest DB, all right? So whether it's a safety or a corner, just make sure you have somebody fast in here, okay? Uh, and then other than that, just make sure that you have two safeties here at linebacker, okay? But outside of that, you don't have to do anything else. Um, the reason I like this setup is we actually have three plays in the big nickel over G that we can use um, to have this blitz come in, and it just gives us, gives us a different coverage shell behind it, uh, depending on what our what the offense is giving us. So the one that I like the most and the one that I use easily the most out of all of these is the strong safety blitz two. Um, obviously we have a cover two shell behind it. We also have the ability to do strong safety linebacker blitz, which is a man or a cover zero look behind it. And then we also have a strong safety blitz three, which as the name states, gives us a cover three look behind it. Okay. So as I stated, my favorite is the strong safety blitz two. And this is the one that I'm going to show in the video today. But again, the same setup you can use in all three of these plays. All right. Now, we're just going to go against a strong close play here to start out. Now, the setup does take some getting used to. Um, it is quite a few steps here, but once you get the hang of it, you can do it pretty quickly. Um, I'm able to get it now where I can get the whole entire thing set up before my opponent is even able to call hike. Okay, so I'll go through it slow, and then I'll actually show you how quickly I can get it set up here. Um, so the first step we're going to do is we're going to press our defense. So that's Y and down on the left stick. Then we're going to pinch our D-line. So that's left on the D-pad, down on the left stick. We're then going to crash our D-line out. So that's left on the D-pad, up on the right stick. And then we're going to QB spy the linebacker that's opposite of our blitzing slot corner. Okay, so here's our slot corner over here. We're going to spy the linebacker opposite of him. The quickest way to do it, um, there's two ways. You can either click on to him, as I am now, and you can just push A, and then left on the right stick, or you can push right on the D-pad twice, and then you see his icon will pop up. So then you would push X, and then again, left on the right stick for QB Spy. All right. Our user is going to be this guy. We're just going to blitz him to give us more mobility, and we're going to pass commit. All right. Now, what I like to do when the opponent calls hike, I'm going to click the right stick in, and that's going to send our spy on a delayed blitz up the middle. Okay, and then we're also with our user, we're going to run towards the line of scrimmage. And when we get there, we're going to peel back. Okay, so we're going to run towards the line and then peel back and play defense over the middle of the field. So I'll show you what it looks like here. And that's exactly what we want. So I'll go into replay and show you why this play does work. Now, it's not going to work 100% of the time, okay? It does get in pretty regularly, um, especially if they're sending out four or five. But there are times where it will glitch out. Um, so I would say it's probably 80% that you're going to either get this um, outside slot corner blitzing in. Sorry, this guy right here, he's either going to come in or you're going to get the linebacker up the middle. Obviously, what we want is what we just had happen, and that's the linebacker up the middle. And I'll show you why it works. So our play set up normal. We have the four defensive linemen blitzing, 
And then we have the slot cornerback. So those are the five people that the offensive line is really paying attention to because they're not looking at the QB spy as a blitzer. Okay. So when we call hike, they're not targeting the QB spy, even though we send him in immediately by clicking in our right stick. All right. So we send him in. Like you see how the center just completely ignores him. Now the running back sometimes will pick him up. Okay. So if they're blocking a running back, there are times where he'll get him. But even here you see he kind of glitches out and doesn't even pick him up. And here we have both the slot corner and the linebacker coming in. Um, and it's just so quick. Your opponent's not going to be able to make a read. If they do make a read, they have to do their first read. If it's the wrong read, you're going to get a turnover. Um, they do not have time to get to their second read. Okay. So again, as you see, they have the four linemen. That that's who they're targeting plus the blitzing corner. They don't even pay attention to the guy coming up the middle. And he's going to hit the quarterback in the backfield. Okay. So let me go into it one more time. And again, here I'll show you how quickly I can actually set it up um, in real time just to show you that you can do it pretty quickly. So I'm going to start here. So we're just going to go press. All right. So I'm set up. Everything's good. Again, maybe what, four seconds there? Three, four seconds. We got it all set up. Um, and again, we're going to call hike here. Or we're going to let the opponent call hike here. We're going to run up towards line of scrimmage. And we're going to peel back and we're going to cover the middle of the field. Now, there was one of the two times out of 10 we're not going to get to come in. So let's run it one more time to show you that it will come in again. And there we have the blitzing cornerback coming in free. So again, I'll go to replay real quick to show you what it looks like when he comes in. Again, on this play, the running back did pick up the... Actually, the center on this play did pick up the blitzing uh, guy up the middle. But then our cornerback is coming off the edge free. So as I stated, you're going to get one of those two guys in. Here they are blocking six, and we're sending six out. So this is something, again, get it into your repertoire. Get it into your playbook. Um, it's going to cause your opponent to make quick reads. They're going to make bad reads. And you're going to get them to force a turnover early in the game. Uh, let's run it one more time here. And there we have the linebacker coming right up the middle again. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.